Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is HUD? The draw textured nodes. There are actually two nodes we'll be covering here: the draw texture and the draw texture simple. And we're going to go ahead and cover the simple one first because it's easier. If I play my example, we will find a texture. It's a texture simply on the screen from my assets. If we were to go ahead and look at our texture, it's this one here. We pull it up and that's what it is. We see it's 512 by 512. It's got some translucency because we have an alpha channel and that's what it is. And when we simply set it up and hit play, that's what we get. Simple as that. So looking at the inputs, we can ignore the target because it needs to be part of the HUD to draw. We have a texture. This is just simply one of our textures inside of our assets. In this case, I chose the logo. Then we have the position where it's at. So if I go to zero, zero, it's going to draw it in the top left corner. And if I change it, obviously it's going to change it. Now keep in mind, this will be the top left corner and the top left corner of the image itself. So in this case, it's going to draw the image from here and draw it down. And this is a 512 by 512 image. That's why we see it here. Scale is basically the scale of the texture. So if we do two and hit play, we're going to get one twice as big. Remember, this is a 512 by 512 image. So now we have roughly 1024 by 1024. Now remember, our screen X and Y is zero and zero. If I was to turn on scale position and hit play, well, nothing's going to happen. Scale position basically takes the scale, multiplies it against the X and the Y, and makes that the new position. So if we were to uncheck this, and let's say we want to put this uh, 50 by 50 at a scale of 1, and hit play, it's going to be offset by 50 and offset by 50 for the top left corner. If I was to change the scale to 2 and hit play, now it's going to be offset by 50 and offset by 50, but it's now a much larger image. If we were to scale the position and hit play, now it's going to be offset by 100 and 100, and then we still have our larger one. So the scale position goes hand in hand with the scale and the sizes and basically shifts it to the right and down based on how much of a scale. That is pretty much our texture simple note. Really simple, just to slap a texture with the default settings onto the screen. Now our more advanced node is our actual draw texture node. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this right now. I'll go ahead and hit play and we'll get this result right here. Now you know something different. This one's actually smaller. The draw texture node gives us full control over the UVs, the layout of the texture and things like that. And let me show you that. Again, we can ignore the target. It needs to be part of the draw hunt event. So no issue there takes in the texture. So in this case, I'm using that logo card and then takes in the X and the Y. So the same as before. Now the differences are from here down along with extra options down here. We'll cover these ones first. This is our width and our height. How big do we want it to be in pixels? So remember 512 by 512 is the default size for this image. So when we run this, now it looks like we expect it to be. But if we want it to be a different size, well, we'll just change it. We'll do something like 128 by 128, hit play, and now we have it scaled to 128 by 128. The next ones, these go together. They're a little difficult to explain if you don't know what UV texture coordinates are, but I'll try to explain the basics. The U is basically the width or the, the horizontal on the texture. The V is the vertical on the texture or the up and down. This defines where the upper left corner of this quad is. These define how far or how, how much of the texture you're using in zero to one space. It may seem a little complicated, but if you understand how this works, it's very, very simple. And you're just defining where your coordinates are going to start for your UV map, your texture map, your UV map, and then how much of it you're using. In this case, zero, zero means start at the beginning. And 1-1 one, one means I want the whole thing. That's why our image looks normal. If I was to change this, for example, and say 0.5 and 0.5, then I'm going to tell it to only use half of it. So now you can see it's only using up to the halfway point on the width and up to the halfway point on the vertical, like this. 
So this allows us to change the way the texture is drawn if you only want to draw it certain ways. The nice thing about this is because this could technically be animated, you could adjust it every frame, you could scale, resize, and animate the way your texture looks based on changing these parameters. So in this case, I'm gonna change this back to one. Now I'm gonna change my U to 0.5 and my V to 0.5. I'm gonna hit play and we're gonna see this. Basically it's saying go halfway across my texture and start here. And then I want the whole texture displayed. That's why we basically see the whole texture and we're starting in the middle. This isn't a good detail explanation of UVs, but that's basically how they work in this note. And I gotta stop typing zero. There we go. So now our advanced options. We have the tint color. Should be really simple. It basically is the tint of the item. So in this case, pink, tints it pink. Blend mode. By default, this actually is gonna come in as opaque. So for example, by default, if I was to run this, let me turn my tint back to one. We're actually gonna see a different, probably unexpected result. We're gonna see this. We're gonna see a gray border around the outside. When it's set to opaque, because it's a blend mode, it basically ignores transparency and, well, we're gonna get this solid texture. You have all your normal blend modes here, so translucent, masked, additive. It basically just set the blend mode you want. If you're using this node and you can't understand quite why your texture's not showing it properly, it's probably gonna be your blend mode. We'll go ahead and set this back to translucent. Scale, scale position, work the same as in our normal one, S changes the size and then changes the offset based on the scale. Our last one is rotation and rotation pivot. These are good, again, for animating and then just altering things. This is literally the rotation. By default at zero, I'll change it to 90, and now we see it is rotated. Now, one thing you'll note is the rotation applies based on the pivot point. By default, that pivot point is zero, zero, or the top left corner. So in this case, I'll put my rotation back to zero, and we're gonna rotate it here. So that's why when I rotate it 90 degrees, our image was now in this space rather than in this space. If you want to do what you'd probably expect and rotate it around the middle, then you're looking at an axis of 0.5 for the X and Y. Now when we rotate it 90 degrees around the middle, we'll get a rotated image in that same position. So remember, it's drawn from one position, the top left, and then our rotation rotates around our separate axis. And that's it. That is our draw texture node. Using these two nodes, you can really simply just boom, slap something on the screen and have a basic UI or basic debugging or something like that. The draw texture simple, we'll just simply draw the texture on the screen at the position using your default settings. It assumes a normal UV mapping and it will default to translucent. The draw texture gives you complete control over UV, blend mode and rotation as well. And that's it. That's gonna wrap up our draw texture and draw texture simple HUD nodes.